Только что у меня упал микрофон. Я не знаю, работает он или нет. В общем, всем привет и добро пожаловать. Мы на выставке Супербус. Вот уже сколько тут много очень людей. Лентрекер Плюс – это доработанная ремастер-версия оригинального трекера. А у нас появились стереоканалы, то есть раньше было 8 моно, сейчас 8 стерео плюс синтезаторы. А есть три слота и 5 синтезаторов. Есть э, Wave Table классический, есть FAT, есть ACID, э, FAT, который более аналоговый, звучание такого старого, хорошего баса аналогового. Есть э, цифроаналоговый синтезатор. А также есть драмашины, тоже аналоговые. Правильно я понимаю, что эти движки были позаимствованы у другого девайса, да? А эти движки были разработаны специально, чтобы потом их имплементировать в разные сфер сферы устройств. Соответственно, они взаимозаменяемые. То есть через несколько лет новый пресет для Фата можно будет использовать на трекере в мини. Кстати, трекер в мини тоже обновится, у него будут все те же самые функции. О, круто. То есть теперь у нас есть компактное устройство, которое имеет и синтезаторы, и стереосэмплы. Джок обновился или нет? Или он такой же и был клевый? Джок остался. Джок остался, изменилась текстура и отклик. Ну. Круто. Да, соответственно, это изменение на данный супербуст, но оставимся ВКонтакте, будет, будет лучше. Будет интереснее, обещаю. Virtual Analog, ACID, WTFM и FAT. Hey, I'm Mitch with Impress, and um, today I want to show you our new stereo analog compressor pedal. It's um, all analog, one knob per function. It has everything you would want in like in a compressor, in a as far as the controls go. And it has stereo sidechain through. It has um, so TRS stereo inputs, TRS stereo sidechain, and it has external or internal sidechain filters so you can dial in exactly what frequency you want to compress. These four, these four are your settings. And about the positionality, it's always like vertical or like you can... Uh, Could you shortly explain me what beautiful device is here? Yeah, so here we have the grid modular MIDI controllers. Uh, they can also send out HID keyboard messages if you want them to. So essentially we want to control anything. Uh, here in these setups we have an Ableton live set uh, controlled with uh, some clip launching going on. Then we also have some little uh, DJ setup to scrub on the timeline for beat matching. And yeah, you can have a very portable DJ setup with the small boxes. Uh, on that side with Tibi we have two uh, synthesizers, uh, one of them is the Polyander Tracker which is controlled by two EF44 units. Um, the Tracker doesn't have a USB host functionality but uh, you can uh, have their MIDI input through TRS uh, sockets and we have for that this little NOT device which is a USB MIDI host, a very small one, you have MIDI input and output for it. Uh, through TRS jack sockets. Um, in that configuration we don't need any uh, USB MIDI host. The Anima Phi synthesizer does have USB host functionality and you can plug in the modules as they are, uh, assign the different CCs to the parameters and uh, you can play around with that. We even have a small URX setup. Uh, these are the same modules like on the desk. Um, these are 21 HP and uh, we are controlling with this module some uh, drone patching going on behind uh, and this one controls the Tenta Music beatbox for sending and launching uh, loops, one shots and the effects are also behind the scenes controlled with the big knobs. 
So um, whether it's Eurac or software related or hardware related, we want to give people options to control them with uh, faders, uh, buttons and, and encoders also. We have like six different type of modules and uh, you can build your own setup with uh, the little tactile uh, control elements. The configuration software and the hardware themselves are open source and open hardware. You can find the sources on our GitHub page and uh, yeah, that's the spirit of Grid and in the studio. Идем дальше. So yeah, so this is a 16-track stereo sampler. It's an extended version of the Digitact, the first Digitact. Uh, successful uh, groove box sampler. Yeah. Uh, that one had eight tracks in mono. This one has 16 tracks in stereo. Yeah. It has an expanded okay. memory, a lot of more memory, both in terms of the working RAM as well as uh, the memory on the uh, on the drive to, sp to store memory to, to store uh, samples. Uh, another thing that it has is that each track can be selected. What kind of sample playback machine you're using, so that you can can go into different kinds of machines here. You have one shot, warp, stretch, re-pitch, grid. Different kinds of way of uh, changing the sound, uh, how, it's how it's produced. But also you have a MIDI uh, yeah. mode. So each track can be a MIDI or a sample based. 128. Oh, 120, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it's eight pages yeah. with 16 steps per page. Yeah, nice. um, but of course, every track can have their own length and own speed as well. So you have eight page yeah. pattern and you want to change something in the last page instead of waiting for the whole yeah. sequence to go you go yeah, to page follow. 8 and, and take that one yeah. so when uh, overbridge will be available do you know <laughs> yeah well so overbridge is currently uh, uh, not released publicly yeah there's uh, you can sign up on the web page ah, to be a uh, tester ah, nice. so, yes. yeah, so, I think I will do <laughs> yeah uh, so it's it's in development and okay. uh, so it's still not released for the public yet, but uh, it's being in, in testing. You know, uh, Electron has a lot of secrets. Of, uh, do you have some secret to tell? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of secrets, <laughs> but none to tell. <laughs> okay, let's wait. <laughs> Thank you for introducing the Digitac. Sure. And good luck you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Vanilla Groovebox machine, crazy rhythmical, rhythmic generator. Yeah, you you can hear what guys are doing. У нас MIDI контроллеры, которые мы собираем уже весь год, некоторые даже несколько лет. Орбита. Орбита, Биатрон, Киз. Биатрон это вот это новое. Биатрон вот. работает как терминвокс, но в отличие от терминвокса он делает антенны и органические mm -hmm. существа, например, кактус. И когда мы приближаемся к нему, он начинает играть более высокие ноты, когда отдаляемся более низкие. Он работает по миди. Это клавиши Keys. Они будут работать как слайд, то есть можно играть, вводя пальцем вдоль, плюс в зависимости от нажатия ты тоже будешь получать эффекты. И здесь аккорды для людей, которые не знают аккорды, но хотят их играть. Подключается по USB, да? А, да, USB-C. Угу. Мы сейчас переходим на USB-C во всех девайсах и даже тачами будем делать USB-C. А это? Это есть терминвокс? Это есть терминвокс, но он пока тоже в стадии разработки. О, 
Hello, this is the new Polybot 12 from Arturia. So it's the, it's the big father of the Polybot 6. So you will have the same feature set uh, on the panel. So two oscillators, one wave table, uh, wave table waveform mixer, etc. One with a sub, uh, two filter with a specific character for each, three envelopes, three LFOs, the big, the big matrix to complexify the song, the effect section, etc. So in the new keybed, which will go more and more in deep. So for this new machine, we added uh, six voices more to have uh, 12 voices in, uh, in total. So to have more unisense, you, you can avoid some voices uh, stealing, etc. And uh, we keep the expressive control that, uh, that, that we have on the, we had on the, on the Polybot 6, the Reborn and the Morphe, the XY axis with a Z axis to, uh, to just express yourself. And so the keybed is the most uh, feature we just improved. Like uh, we, so it's a custom design keybed from Astoria. We call it the full touch, the new yeah. technology. And uh, so you have a polyphonic aftertouch. This, this is the beginning. And we, uh, we did some, uh, we produced some free external, from free additional mode of the full touch. I will try to explain that uh, with voice and no sound. So, uh, so the particularity of the keys, at the, if I take uh, a classic keys, you will hit the keys at the bottom. So you will trick the on at the bottom. With the alternative mode, you will trick the keys at the top of the, of the notes and all your ranges of the notes will create your aftertouch. So you can express your aftertouch in a longer way than you have normally. Oh, okay. And so this is the first mode. We call it full touch, uh, aftertouch. The second one is the, the same thing. So full touch, aftertouch with the Z. So you trigger the note at the beginning and you can express yourself and have a third movement defined by the Z axis of the Morphe. And the last one, but not least, you have the full touch envelope, uh, full touch envelope, and uh, we say uh, after touch. So this one it's hard to explain, but uh, you will feel your envelope in your hands. For example, you can slow uh, slow down. You can just play very slowly. You will have the attack very slow, the decay, the sustain, and the release. So you you produce your own envelope. And if you put the velocity fader on, you can transform the sound with just your fingers. For, like for each sound or for a chord? Envelope. Each note. Each note. Like, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fully multi polyphonic uh, uh, expressivity keybed. So you, will, you can trigger very slowly to have slow attack and pads, and you can strike the notes to have like a pluck sound. Okay. So it's. This keyboard is very amazing. It's, it's like a violin, you know, like when you play an instrument, you want to feel it in your hand, you want to feel it in your fingers. You don't want to, to have a fixed envelope, fixed modulation. Now the modulation follow your energy, your feeling, yeah. your time. So yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing machine. I think it's the, it's the, how do you say, a, a step forward uh, into the modern uh, expressiveness of a keyboard. I mean, the morph, it's a beautiful one. Everybody say it's uh, like a volume transform. No, it's a, Parameters transform in a real time, so you can just drag from uh, from a state to another state okay. with just one knob. So you can have two sounds crossfade between the two amazing. sounds. Yeah, it's amazing machine. Okay. You have multiple modes, but it will take years to explain this machine. <laughs>
Uh, okay, it's, it's oscillator, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here there are ramps. Uh, a ramp in video is a signal that takes like uh, one frame or one uh, one line or one frame to develop. And then we can also use oscillator and the uh, oscillator as a, a variable frequency. And you can shape it for sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. And yeah, I can. We can create a 2D shape with two oscillator, like uh, with one oscillator that does the vertical line, and the other one does the horizontal. And if I sum them uh, like this, you can get 2D shapes. Yeah, and yeah, right now we're using triangles, so we got diamond shape, but we can also use sine waves, and then it gets more ellipse kind of. Then we can use sawtooths so as well then also use the FM. Okay. Wow. It looks like liquid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, it's mixing with camera. Yeah. yeah it's using, we're using the signal of the camera to modulate the frequency and so the patterns get all scrambled by the, based on the, the image. So it's 48 HP, uh -huh. Exelon. You have six stereo channels. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's also expandable so you can add uh, three channels modules you can add two of those directly to it uh -huh. and each channel has CV control over the volume the balance effects in one and two the you, effects you can modulate panorama or something everything yeah. yes oh my God. and then you can have uh, two different mix outs okay. so each channel has a selector switch for A or B and the middle position is both so you can do parallel processing and other really cool things with that cool. and then the effect sends or stereo. So you have two stereo sends, two stereo returns with control over those levels, but also CV control over those levels and the bus select switch on those as well. Oh. This expander for 6.3 or something? These are the direct output recording expanders okay. for it, but they also work on their own. Okay. So you can have balanced outputs. Nice. We have it connected here. Yeah. So we have a 20, uh, 24 channels here. We're using an eight-channel snake, but you can also use TRS or use the IO for Eurorack level direct. And are you using Bitwig for, for multi-tracking or? Absolutely, yeah. I love Bitwig. Um, we're using Bitwig now with our new module we announced today, Optics version two, which is over there, but it's also right here. Yes. And so Optics version two is our ADAT, our next generation ADAT conversion module, uh -huh. which we've gone back, redesigned. And it's the, the lowest noise you can get for digital conversion in your Euro Rock. Um, and this, we have self-calibrating CV inputs for no DC offset, mm -hmm. high-quality audio inputs and outputs, and CV input and output. So we're using Bitwig for the demo for audio and CV to control the mixer. And what is the little box? These are our smaller kind of pedal devices. Uh -huh. This is the Patulator and the Patulator Pro. They're for re reordering your pedals and effects quickly. Okay. And then the Interfex is for integrating pedals and line gear with Eurorack without using a module. Tape Echo? Yes, this uh, uh, Tape Echo is called uh, the Dirt Magnet. Okay. A lot of uh, filters here or something? So you got two LFOs uh -huh. because you can use them to modulate all these parameters. Okay. You've got a noise generator and a crackle generator to generate some grit and some lo-fi textures. Oh, okay. So this is the noise, you can tune it. Analog? Yes, uh -huh. of course. Crackle as well, if you can believe it. Uh -huh. So this is the density and then wow. you can just make it more hissy like tape. Okay. You got a ring modulator uh, and you can also put a custom carrier inside. Uh -huh. uh, it's not currently plugged in I think to anything important so I can't really send anything to it. But it does ring modulation just exactly as you would expect it. And you got a self-oscillating VCF model after an MS-20. Uh, but 
with twice the power because usually on an MS-20 you would expect okay. the resonance to start screaming around here. This one does around five already. We just didn't plug it in, of course we didn't. In tape delay controller. There you go. Yeah. Uh, okay. wow. And of course the tape delay, the start of the show. Yes. You got stereo. Uh, yes, it is stereo. Uh -huh. It is stereo and you got uh, two heads. One is writing, two are reading. You can put it in ping pong mode, left, okay. right. Mm -hmm. And you can modulate parameters with the CV jacks and you got a blend mode between the two heads. Okay. So this one or this one. If I'm gonna send you some kicks maybe, just so you can hear what's happening over here. Uh -huh, yeah, I see. So you can modulate it. Standard feedback controls. Nice. Dirty sound. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole idea of this lineup. Yeah. The exactly. dirt magnet, the dust collector, and the mod mix. They're all about grit. Cool. Thank you. Thank you too. Нашел всю территорию. Оказывается, там еще где-то есть отдельный остров со стендами. Вот еще уже, наверное, километр прошел. Сейчас попробую найти. Вот там, в лесу за мной, еще одна эрия, где можно посмотреть всякие синты. Капец, тут, короче, идти. Ну что, я уже рядом. Сейчас пойдем. Честно говоря, я бы, наверное, до сюда не дошел бы. Просто... Не осознавая того, что тут может что-то еще быть в лесу. Привет. Саша. Привет. Мы в инстаграме. А, привет! Привет! Подписчики тут. Да, здравствуйте. Очень рад тебя посетить. This will work only when you switch this up. It's the Opejo. You got it. Hold uh, this and you bring this up, and it will actually. Mm -hmm. it, it, the, the envelope is now uh, opening. <laughs> Это ребята Vinyl Matters, завод, который печатает пластинки. Бизнес разговор. Итак, уже 7 часов. Супербус уже вроде как должен закончиться. Вот включили свет. Но пока мало кто хочет расходиться, потому что все коннектятся. Вон там Роберт Бабич играет. Короче, такой ивентище. Ну ладно, пока. We had
had a like more of a technology demonstration last year. So we showed uh, phase five. This is phase eight, mm -hmm. um, and it was uh, twelve notes. Um, okay. We had sustain working and some other things, but this time we're back with like what we want the product to be. So it's still a prototype, but it's what we imagine the product will look like. It should be should be quite similar, um, and it has like all the things your product needs. Like it's got a workflow, it's got a sequencer, um, a few different envelopes. It's kind of a, a fully realized thing. Um, yeah. So we're showing we're showing that this year. Uh, it also has different colors. Or? It has different colors, yeah. Because we're not uh, we're not showing the final thing, mm -hmm. but we were making five. We thought let's have some fun, and so each of the five people that worked on the hardware, uh, we got to choose our own colors and materials and stuff. So they're all customized, um, and they've also got different scales. Okay. So they all sound different, they all look different, um, but the the core of it is the same. Yeah. Is it possible to tune scales? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By yourself or, yeah. So you can swap them all out, which is what we did. We have a box of all of these different okay. notes and we picked which ones we wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also like an early tuning uh, mechanism in the back, so you can move it forward and backwards. And, like on my one over there, I have the lowest note detuned really low, so it's like a kick, like a kick drum instead of being a C sharp yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. How about the speakers? Is something speakers, special? yeah, yeah. Uh, we made them as an office project, but we really wanted to use this material. Um, is from a company called Honext and I think it's made using a waste product I think from wood processing but it doesn't have glue or anything like that that MDF usually has so you could put this back into the same process and get a whole new piece out and um, we wanted to make something that didn't use any glue either so it's held together with this strap so the whole thing could be could come apart and go back into the same process because um, we're really interested in trying to make things like that that um, either can go back into the same economy they came from or survive the test of time and not break and be able to be repaired um, so that we have as, as little impact as possible because you know you make a thousand of something you want them to be worthwhile you want them to stand the test of time and not become landfill or something that people don't care about yeah. so good luck with it thank you so much yeah Супербудка 24 -го года отличается от Супербудки 23 -го года, на которой ты был, и мы видели все видео оттуда. Мне кажется, что в этом году... Э, сам себе даю интервью. А, мне кажется, что в этом году э, больше участников, именно самих э, производителей, в такое ощущение складывается. Либо они так распределены, просто более обширны, что ли. Хотя, например, вот эта будка Саке, вот она не работает. В том году она работала, здесь люди тоже ходили. Вот. К сожалению, нету Teenage Engineering в этом году. Они в том году удивляли очень интересными всякими девайсами. Что-то в этом году их нету. Make Noise также нету. Получается, каких-то таких важных э, людей тоже тут нету, важных производителей. Но при этом э, вот Cork как в том году были, так и сейчас есть. Такие, почему я их называю, потому что они какую-то составляющую, что ли, этого фестиваля. Вот такая целая зона здесь, да. Вот в том году еще Teenage Engineering там тоже такую зону. Вот. Немного опустел, но при этом э, есть другие всякие ребята, которые э, здесь представлены. Не знаю, мне кажется, что мало чем отличается, если только вот так детально рассматривать какие-то варианты. Как вот, по... В том году он был лучше, интереснее, чем в этом году. Но в этом году есть Digitact. Это сам девайс намного лучше, чем все остальные девайсы, которые были представлены, может быть, в том году. В том году был аналог HitFX. Тоже, кстати, хороший девайс. У них были всякие побрякушки такие, которые можно было с помощью у них FX. По... Кстати, аналог HitFX, по-моему, вообще нету. Он, да. Был? А, был? Один, да. Ну, и мало света. В том году они подзапарились. Там свет у них был такой яркий. Так что, в целом... Вот. Своих стендов или Ну, э, насколько я знаю, участие на таком мероприятии стоит полторы тысячи примерно. Вот. И поэтому, может быть, какие-то дешевлики дороже, но вот электрон на том же месте, например, корк на этом же месте. Возможно, какие-то знаковые как раз-таки сохранили свои позиции, но, но в то же время многие поменялись. Вот. Эрика Синс на том же месте была. Э, каково я тут помню? Какие-то модулярные ребята точно поменяли свои локейшены. Кто-то в палатках стал, кто-то там. Такие вот дела. Так, ну все, день подходит к концу. Супербус. День один закончился. Не знаю, что получилось. Надеюсь, интересное видео. Все, всем пока.